what do you call it? <laughs> Goop, the goopy stuff that you put in your eyebrows. Oh my gosh, I'm like, <laughs> go big or go home. Extra strength, please. <laughs> Get my wrinkles away. It looks like lipstick, but it's not lipstick. I know some of you are probably looking at this being like, oh my gosh, the things they are coming up with today. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to the Shaquille YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and y'all know that I talk an awful lot about wigs on my channel because I mean, well, we are an alternative hair company. However, today I'm not gonna be talking about wigs at all. I'm gonna be answering a big question that I get from you guys, which is what do I do for my skincare routine? But before I jump into all of that, I'm gonna remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn all about alternative hair and apparently a little bit about skincare too. So if you've been around for a while you know that this is a channel dedicated to wigs sometimes I'll talk about toppers as well and occasionally I will talk about my hair loss journey and alopecia however today we are straying away from all of that and talking about like I said skincare because other than questions about wigs or about my hair loss journey the biggest questions I get asked tend to be are those your eyelashes how do you do your eyebrows what makeup do you use and what is your skincare routine like? So to answer some of those questions really quickly, yes, these are my own lashes. No, I don't use any serums to help them grow. No, I don't use any false lashes ever. I just have my own lashes, but I do use L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. And this has just been my favorite mascara lately that seems to work for me. Okay, quickly to answer questions about my eyebrows. I literally do not touch them. These are my eyebrows. They are growing right from my head. I used to, when I was younger, I used to have bushier eyebrows. They weren't like real bushy. I didn't have like a unibrow, but it was close. <laughs> it was pretty close call. However, when I got alopecia, it actually ended up getting rid of about 75 to 80% of my right eyebrow. Ultimately, it ended up growing back, but when I got my alopecia, it was like it toned down my eyebrows. It tamed them, it tamed the beast that they were, and suddenly they just are this shape. I don't pluck them, I don't fill them in, I don't use, um, what do you call it? <laughs> Goop, the goopy stuff that you put in your eyebrows. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what any of this stuff is because I don't use it. I literally do not touch my eyebrows at all. Like I, I don't know why they are the way they are, but I wish I had more information for you about eyebrows but I do not. Anyways, also, if you are interested in my makeup routine, just know that recently I did make a video about my makeup routine and all of the favorite products, well, all of my favorite products that I use. So if you are wanting to take a look at that, go check it out. Just know that I am not a makeup artist. I don't really and truly know what on earth I'm doing. So, you know, take it all with a grain of salt. Okay, and lastly, the whole reason we are here today is for my skincare. I will preface this by saying, I am also not a dermatologist. I am not an esthetician. I don't know a lot about skincare. All I know is that the products that I do use I enjoy and they work okay for me. So also take this with a grain of salt because I don't know how it's gonna work with your skin and what it's gonna do for you, but this is just what I do. I will also let you know that I am 36 years old. So I feel like I'm at that weird in-between age where I'm like young, but I'm not like young, young. And I'm old, but I'm not, I'm definitely not old. So I'm just like lingering in the middle where age signs are starting to show on me. I have, you know, wrinkles and my crow's feet and I've got my 11s coming in. So I have skin that is just like starting to show signs of aging. All right, let's hop to it. So the first thing that I always do is take off my wig. I will let you know I am wearing Mesmerized by Raquel Welch in the color Shaded Wheat. I love wearing Mesmerized in a bun. I just, it's probably my favorite one to wear in a bun just because it has these cute little face framing layers that help make it look a little bit more um, dainty and natural and a little bit messy. Anyways, Mesmerized by Raquel Welch, Shaded Wheat. So I always start by taking off my wig. The first actual step of my skincare routine is removing the makeup from my eyes. So I don't wear eyeshadow ever, um, but I do obviously have mascara on. Now to get rid of that, I do use my Cellar Water by Garnier. Uh, we'll get that nice and close so you can see it. It's cleansing water all in one. Repl replumps, I'm <laughs> trying to read this backwards. Anyways, I get a cotton pad like this, put some on and just 
get it gone. <laughs> the great thing about um, micellar water is that it's really gentle on your skin. It's alcohol free, so it's not gonna like burn your skin or like hurt your eyes or anything. So I just do this to get my mascara away and any other eye makeup that's there. Okay, now that all my eye makeup is gone, I start in with my cleanser. So I used to use Clinique's um, melting cleansing balm. I don't remember what it's actually called, but it was a little expensive. It wasn't crazy, but it was a bit expensive. And anytime I went into Sephora to find it, they never had it in stock, like ever. Every time I went, I'm like, where is this? So I decided to start looking for something a little bit more accessible and a little bit more cost-effective. And I've been starting to use Sephora's brand. Um, and it's just called, what is it called? That's French, Melting Cleansing Balm. And this has been really good for me. So it's just this balm, it's kind of a bluey color. I take a bit on my fingers and then I just start rubbing it in my face to get rid of all that makeup and cleanse my skin. All right, after I've massaged this into my skin for probably a good minute, I really like getting it in there. The next thing I use is like, I don't know why I didn't start using these sooner. So I don't know about you guys, but I always used to, after you know getting my cleanser in, I just like put my head into the sink and get water and like splash water on my face and like rub the water around to get rid of it. But I'm telling you, once I started using microfiber face cloths, <gasps> It just like changed the game for me. They are so soft and so gentle on your skin. So it is microfiber. It's literally so soft and gentle. And I feel like it is just getting everything off of my skin as opposed to just like splashing my face with water and just like smooshing it all around some more. This is just so good. Ever since I started using these, I've just been like a big fan. I got a whole bunch of microfiber um, face cloths off of Amazon. They're not that expensive, you guys. And um, there was like, I don't know, 12 in a pack. So it's really good because I just use a new one every day. And by the time I'm like ready to do laundry, I can do laundry and I'll still have a few more left. And I don't have to just like rewash them all the time because there's a lot in the pack. Anyways, these are so good. I love them. Okay, you guys, the next step in my routine is like my holy grail. The second I started using these, I noticed a difference after day one, and I'm not even kidding you. If you are someone who's maybe acne prone, maybe you have like really oily skin, maybe you have wrinkles that you want to reduce the appearance of, you have to start using this peeling um, or this daily peel. It's by Dr. Dennis Gross. They're called the Extra Strength Daily Peel. You can get these in um, a few different formulas. There's one that's more gentle. There's one that's like a universal one for um, like combination skin maybe. And then there's the extra strength one. I'm like, go big or go home. Extra strength, please <laughs> get my wrinkles away. Anyways, it comes in this box. Um, you can get an even bigger box than this actually with like, I don't know, maybe like 60 or so. They're not the cheapest things in the world, but um, they sure do a lot. My skin has never felt so clean. My pores are smaller. Um, I felt like any acne I had that was starting to erupt, this literally got rid of it and it toned it down so much. So what this is, it, is it comes in two steps. Um, the first step is to exfoliate and smooth. So you just open up the little pack and take out the cute little, oh, dropping it on the floor, cute little towel that it comes with and you just rub it all over your face. Um, so this is a daily peel. You can do this once a day if you want. However, I find that I only use this two, maybe three times a week if I want to, um, typically every second or third day and that's enough for me. It, but like I said, my skin has never felt more smooth. My pores have never looked so small. This has been an absolute game changer for me. You have to try it. <laughs> How 
had to grab this film for. Okay, after you've done the first step, the next step is the anti-aging neutralizer. <laughs> Anyways, it's the same idea. So you just take it out of its little pack. However, I should say that once you've done the first step, you have to let it sit for a minute or two before you go in with the next step. So I'm gonna let this sit for a minute before I come back and do this. One minute later. Okay, I'm ready for step two now. All done. So if you are interested in these, the Dr. Dennis Gross daily peels, you can get them at Sephora. Um, like I said, they're not the cheapest things in the world, but they are just so amazing. So I will share with you that because I don't do that every single day and because I don't do it morning and night, I usually just do it nighttime every second or third day. But whenever I don't do it, I will instead use my Clinique um, toner. This is just the Clinique clarifying lotion, twice a day exfoliator. Um, and I use this with just a cotton pad and just rub it all over my face, kind of like I did with those little cloth thingies. All right, next up is my eye cream. So I use something different at nighttime than I do in the day. At night, I use this Peace Out Retinol Stick. You can get this at Sephora. And it's really just that, it's this stick. It looks like lipstick, but it's not lipstick. You just lift it up and you just literally swipe it under your eyes and I'll do a little bit over my eyes as well. You don't even need to rub it in with your fingers. You just swipe it on. Um, and I find it's great for nighttime just to sit overnight. Now, because this is a little bit more of a thicker sort of sticky, it's not sticky, but it's just thicker um, formula. I don't use it in the daytime and I don't even think it's recommended to use like in the morning for your day. But in the daytime, I use the eye, um, the eye serum by Beauty of Joshan. It's a Korean skincare line. I have to be honest with you guys. I don't know where to get it from. I don't know if it's available in North America. My sister-in-law um, lives in Malaysia with my brother, of course. They both live in <laughs> Malaysia. And um, she goes to Korea often and picks me up some skincare and brings it over to me at Christmas time sometimes. She just always does the best job at finding me the best skincare, including this eye serum. I'll see if I can get it close. Oh, there we go. So there it is, the Revive Eye Serum Ginseng and Retinol by Beauty of Joshan. Anyways, it's from Korea. I don't know where you can get it or if you can get it anywhere else. Okay, on to the next thing, which is probably my very favorite part of my skincare routine and something that I feel like I have noticed changes with. You guys have probably seen this around social media a lot, but I use this contraption here. It's like this massaging like gua sha on steroids. It's a red light therapy. Um, it just does all the things and you basically massage your face with this and it helps reduce swelling. It helps with wrinkles and fine lines. It, it helps a lot of things. And honestly, I feel like I never used to have like a defined jawline until I started using this. And I used to feel like my cheekbones were not as defined as they are until I started using this. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's, oh, it's amazing. Um, sorry, I'm trying to, oh gosh dropping things everywhere. Anyways, in order to use that, I first apply skin oil. This is called the Bioma um, Retinol, or what is it called? Bioma Sensitive Retinol Oil. This, um, it's not that expensive. It's maybe $20 for this bottle, and I just got it at the drugstore. I used to get a more expensive oil by Drunk Elephant at Sephora, but it was like, 75 or $80 Canadian. It was just absolutely bonkers. And I'm like, I cannot be doing this to myself. <laughs> Way too expensive. So I apply this oil first and, and then I go in with this contraption. Um, honestly, I don't even remember where I got this from. I'll see if I can find the link. It was just one of those things that popped up for me and I'm like, yes, purchase. <laughs> I'm a little reckless like that. Anyways, I'll try to see if I can find a link and put it below for you. But again, I find that it has really helped like define my facial features even more and help reduce any swelling. So I just go through my whole face. As soon as it touches your skin, it starts like vibrating like crazy. So here I go.
all done. I know some of you are probably looking at this being like, oh my gosh, the things they are coming up with today. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> but I swear this has changed my life. I absolutely love this thing. I use it at nighttime and I use it in the morning time and I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, believe it or not, we are finally at basically the last thing for my routine and that is just my lotion for my face. Um, I use the lotion from The Ordinary. The Ordinary is a really economical um, and really good brand that you can get at Sephora. This is just uh, the Natural Moisturizing Factors Surface Hydration Formula. This has a lot in the bottle and it was very inexpensive. So I'm like, yes, <laughs> please give that to me. And I've been using it for a while now and I, I like it. So it hasn't caused me any problems. Now also something I do every three days or so is add two drops of um, self tanner to my lotion. Like I don't like to use a lot cause I don't want to look crazy tanned and orange and I just don't want to be too crazy, but I feel like having just a touch of that sun kissed glow for a few days just really helps to liven up my skin a bit. So I just rub it in to just two drops in with my um, lotion and rub it all over my face. And I only do this, like I said, every two or three days, just at nighttime um, so that I wake up in the morning with a little bit more of a glow to my skin. And it's one that just like develops over time, not something that you'll see instantly. Now, just remember to wash your hands after if you decide to use it, because otherwise you will have orange hands. <laughs> All right, I know I said that was the last thing I used, but I'm gonna give you a bonus product here, which is um, my lip exfoliator. I do this every night and every morning as well. It's just by e.l.f. and it's just their lip exfoliator. And this is in, I think, the strawberry flavor. I just really love exfoliating my lips all the time, as much as I can. <laughs> so I will rub this around my lips. Um, it's just like little sugar granules that, um, Will exfoliate your lips and once they're kind of dissolved here then I do double duty and I go in with my Laneige um, lip sleeping mask and I will do a layer of the sleeping mask on top um, and it just keeps my lips nice and fresh. I just get this e.l.f. lip exfoliant at the drugstore and I get the Laneige lip sleeping mask at Sephora. All right, you guys, now I am done. I know that was a lot, but I absolutely love taking care of my skin. It's like my favorite time of day. It's funny because with makeup, I spend maybe five minutes on my makeup every day. But with my skincare, I probably spend like 20 plus minutes on it day and night. I just love it so much. I just feel like it's super important to take care of your skin and just make sure it is in tip top shape. And with all that being said, I will let you know of one more product I use. I know, I know I've shared so much, but I'm gonna share one more product with you because SPF is important. So I use this in the morning time. Um, and this is my universal tinted moisturizer SPF 46 by Dermatology. So I will put this on after I finish doing my face lotion. And like it says, it is a tinted moisturizer. So it has a little bit of tint to it, not a ton, but it does a nice job at evening your skin tone just a little bit. Okay, you guys, now I am done, I promise. If you have any questions about what on earth I just showed you in this video, please ask below. Just remember that I am not an esthetician or a dermatologist and I don't know the nitty gritty of all of these things that I'm sharing with you. All I know is that I use these products and I like them. So with that, I'm gonna let you guys go and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.